This Saturday marks the 114th meeting between North Dakota State and North Dakota, dating back to their first game in 1894. It's the 10th most played rivalry amongst current football championship subdivision members. UND has a 62-43-3 lead in the all-time series, but NDSU has won all three meetings as Division I opponents in 2015, 2019, and 2021, all in Fargo. This is the Bison's first trip to Grand Forks since 2003, the last season of the Division II football era for North Dakota State. Darius Joyner of Western Illinois was named the Stats Performance National Defensive Player of the Week. Joyner had a career day at Youngstown State, setting a new career high with 14 solo tackles and 23 tackles. That mark for total tackles ranked sixth best in program history for a single game, is the best in the MVFC this season, and third best nationally. His efforts helped the Leathernecks rally from a 35-7 deficit to win 38-35. The 28-point deficit to win was the biggest comeback in a league game in MVFC history, surpassing the previous record of 23 set by Western Illinois back in 1988. Quarterback Jason Shelley at Missouri State posted his third straight 200-yard passing game and third straight game with no interceptions to help lead the Bears to a 31-23 come-from-behind win over South Dakota. Shelley accounted for four touchdowns, two passing, and two on the ground, while engineering three scoring drives in the Bears' first five second-half possessions to ignite the 17-0 run that the Bears went on to end the game. And last week, South Dakota State shut out Indiana State 44-0, marking the 46th shutout in conference play in league history. This is the third recorded by SDSU. SDSU's first league shutout was also against Indiana State, 41-0 back in 2009. Pierre Strong Jr. did a little bit of everything in South Dakota State's victory, rushing 20 times for a season-high 150 yards, catching two passes for 23 yards, and throwing a 22-yard touchdown pass. For the Missouri Valley Football Conference, I'm Jim Powers. Have a great week, everybody.